Two yards to my right, commentating for French television, Philippe Candeloro, one of the men of these games. Fantastic. Kevin Costner's uh, 25 yards to my right, watching on here. The Pinsky and Quant to go later on. And I'm stuck here with Chris Howard. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> you guess who's on your left, I know. Got that over with. <laughs> right. The penultimate group. Scaled immense talent. As uh, Leoshenko shows us there. Vanessa Guzmaroli, who's been right up there in the top three in the world, but not this year. No medals for her. Third in Lausanne last year. But, uh, just a feeling that she's stood still and the others have raced past her. She's got to put that to rest. One or two cynics about her around the place. Tatiana Malanina from Uzbekistan. Lying in ninth place, she begins this penultimate group and has done very well to get into it. Now here's the girl I really like, Elena Sokolova. Having said that, she'll probably fall all over the place, but she showed so much promise, didn't she? And uh, for me, she could be the best Russian of all time. Remember, we've never had a Russian winner of this title in Olympics. Maria Butcherskaya going in the last and third place she could change that unlikely but it's possible joanne carter didn't she skate well in the short she really did she's a gutsy little skater really fights her way through all the jumps even when they go wrong just as i said that she does a double loop but she is a fighter and she's uh, very talented and Leticia yeah well such high hopes been working with a sports Your psychologist, but I'm afraid forgot all that when she went out on the short, and it was not good. She's fifth to go in this penultimate group, lying in 12th place. The final group will go at 9.26. It's 8.50 local time in Nagano. On the ice, representing Uzbekistan, Tatiana Marinina. Here's the first to go. Lying in ninth place from Uzbekistan. Music Aladdin. He is Tatiana Malinina. at all an immense height super triple flip I can't believe my jumping techniques improved and sure enough Lovely duck, triple Salka. She's got time to spare on these triple jumps.
Double axel. Bit more of a fight there, but no problem with the landing. Mistake there. Could have been a triple toe loop at the beginning of that combination. sports now so why shouldn't it happen in figure skating but skaters who seem to uh, be going nowhere as far as their careers are concerned suddenly late on have a lease of life and in skating terms she's uh, she's no spring chicken 25 you'd normally be coming to the end of your career at 25 but suddenly in the last 12 months she's made dramatic improvement and particularly as you mentioned with her jumping technique yes the timing of her jumps has improved beyond all recognition she's starting at much more elevation and uh, a much quicker snap on the jumps and there you can see wonderful landing position here's setting up that triple flip spots with the right toe look at the height now, you won't see one better than that tonight just a shame for the last minute of the program died a little bit yes. there wasn't an awful lot of of jumping content in there but uh, more importantly the choreography died a bit and uh, it just seemed like the program was heavily weighted to the front. Yes, I think as a result of it, she died a bit too, which is probably why the choreography went. But very well done. I don't think I've seen an improvement like that in any skater in such a short space of time. Fantastic. I'm sorry about the triple toe. If it's, you know, my comments there just uh, caused her to miss that. Yes. Put the right mockers on her. I think I did. Igor Senofontov, a very proud man. To the left as we look at it. Looks like he heard us. Terrific. Well done. To Kent is uh, where she lives and they skate for the Alpamish Club. I know uh, some listen in English over there. Very well done. 5-2 to 5-4. Look at that. Great to see a reaction. Mm. Won't be quite so high for presentation. But still, apart from the Russian, French and Australian, first place all the way through. And pretty sure she'll be in the top ten.